It's Laredo, but... It's They've been selling Chryslers and Jeeps at this dealership in New Jersey since the Reagan administration. Cars are part of Rob Engel's DNA. My brother and I have been in the business since we were like 11 and 13 years old. So, that's all we've known. Engel's father began repairing cars across the street right after fleeing Austria just ahead of the Nazis. Fixing cars morphed into selling them. The business now owned by Rob and his brother Rick. A successful mid-sized dealership. At least the Engels thought so until two days ago. That's when the call came from Chrysler. This was a sucker punch for, for my brother and I. This shop and another the Engels own half an hour away terminated. I'm making the transition from shock to anger. Anger may be an understatement. Chrysler's deadline means Engel has less than a month to sell the hundred cars that are left on his lot. In this economy, that's impossible. With the money Engel stands to lose, Chrysler's bankruptcy could result in personal bankruptcy for him. There's been a gun put to my head. Jim Anderson says it's nothing short of Grand Theft Auto that Chrysler is forcing his Long Island dealership to close. 48 jobs and millions of dollars of inventory on the line. Anderer is not going quietly. I have no choice. I'm going to sue. The Chrysler axe fell on Jeff Pohanka in Maryland, too. Pohanka is also a GM dealer. He sells Chevys, Cadillacs, and Saturns. GM plans to dump Saturn leaving Pohanka wondering what will happen to this business. We really do not know specifically our future, if we will have a future. But unlike Chrysler's ultimatum to shut down next month, GM is telling dealers the bad news 18 months in advance. General Motors, at least, has given dealers time to, to make plans. For now, but if GM winds up in bankruptcy court, that time could disappear, as it has already for Rob Engel. Tony Guida, CBS News, Tenafly, New Jersey.